Let us understand the process of breathing through a simple experiment. To do this activity, we are going to need these materials. First, take a transparent plastic bottle, preferably wide-mounted plastic bottle. Remove its bottom. If then take a rubber cork, a Y-shaped plastic tube, and two deflated balloons. Make use of your straws and form a Y-shaped plastic tube. Now, to each fourth end of the tube, fix the balloons. Now, cup the bottle. Attach the balloons inside the bottle from its open bottom. Make a hole in the cup, plastic cup, and pass the open end of the tube outside the bottle through the hole. Now tie a rubber sheet or the large balloon at the bottom of the bottle tightly so no air can pass through it. Pull down the rubber sheet or the large balloon at the bottom and watch the balloons inside get inflated. Now push back the rubber sheet inside the bottle and watch the balloons collapse. How do the balloons get inflated and deflated when we pull or push the rubber sheet? When we pull the rubber sheet outwards, the space inside the bottle increases and the air inside the bottle becomes lighter. When we push the rubber sheet inside, the space in the jar is reduced and the pressure is increased. This pushes the air out of the balloons. The balloons get deflated. And voila, you now have your breathing model. Now let us see how this correlates to the breathing system. The bottle is like the human body. There is an empty space or a cavity inside the body filled with air, called the body cavity. The rubber sheet is the diaphragm which divides the body into two parts. The upper part is the chest cavity. The Y-shaped tube is the trachea and the bronchi. The balloons are like the lungs which are situated in the chest cavity. A human adult at rest, on an average, breathes about 28,000 times per day. In other words, 12 to 20 times per minute. Now let us see your creativity. Create your own breathing mechanism model, take a picture and a short video clip showing how it works. Have fun learning by doing!